Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to cover the Joyce and Raptor tool. Let's get started. First, we're going to go ahead and look at our roof system for this example, and we're going to calculate out the roof rafters needed. The first thing that we need to do is draw an area out, either utilizing the area tool or a pre-built template. In this case, we've already drawn out the 1012 area with an item located here to the left. So we're going to continue that by selecting it and selecting the start button. Let's go ahead and draw this around. Once again, to make sure that your lines are straight, you can select the F2 button, which will enable ortho. Or you can select the enable ortho from underneath the options menu. We'll go ahead and measure around this following gable. And there we go. We've now drawn out those two planes of the roof. The next step in the process is to simply select the plane of the roof, make sure it's outlined in a dotted line, and once it is, we simply select the Tools button and now select the Add Joist. From here, you're going to have a couple options. For example, you can select the Floor System or the Roof System. In this example, we're going to go ahead and select the Roof System. From here, we'll select the General Manufacturer's General, we'll then select our Joist Catalog, which will be Roof Raptor Tool Parts, and then determine what size we like to use. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use a 2x8 roof rafter. Next, we're going to select the material length calculation from the nearest to the nearest two foot or none. For this example, we're going to select the nearest two foot because that is what we would order from our lumber material supplier. Next, we'll select the material direction, and from here we can select horizontal, vertical, or manually set the direction. Let's go ahead and select vertical for this. Next, select the pitch, 10, 12 and the minimum material length and a new material length. What the minimum material length will be is eight foot. Basically what it is stating is that everything that is eight foot and under, so all of your two foot, four foot, and six foot boards will be cut out of your new material length. So for example, 16. It will add all these minimum material lengths together and then divide it by the new material length. And it will tell you that you need this many 16 footers for this example. We'll select our on center spacing at 16 inches on center. And because we're not doing a floor joist, we do not need to select the rim board. Next, we'll select the color. And let's go ahead and select blue. We can then put a price per linear foot. We can also add a location. For this, we're going to say roof, roof system. We can also select the phase. And if we would like to select the roof load, and this would be the load in which would be shipped from your lumber supplier. And next, we can adjust our transparency. At this point, I'm going to leave it at 7. So let's go ahead and hit Start, and you will see that it will add the joists and rafters for you. And there is all of our rafters. Next, we will go ahead and continue with this next section. So once again, select your roof rafters, select the plane. Let's go ahead and select Tools, select Add Joist, and let's select Roof System nearest two foot and this one here will go horizontal pitch once again is 10 material length is 8 and then once again we'll enter all this information in now Prior to hitting the start button, we can go ahead and save it at the top as a template. So next time we won't have to enter all this information in. So if we select the save button, we'll go ahead and select this. And we'll say that the template name is Roof Rafters. And we can even give it a size. If we wanted to say this is a 2x8 Roof Rafters. Hit save. And now hit start. And there we go. Next, we'll go ahead and draw out our last plane of our roof. Once again, selecting it, selecting tools, selecting add joist, and now pick from our template the 2x8 roof rafters. And as you can see, everything is filled out. We can now go ahead and select a different color if we'd like. And let's go ahead and let's select this color. 
And then we'll also select our material direction as manually set direction. Now what manually set direction will allow us to do is to ensure that our lines align correctly. It also works very well if you're dealing with a, an angle, uh, angled roof rafters along the pitch of the roof. So at this point here, we're going to go ahead and draw out a line from the end of this 10 foot line, making sure that our ortho is on, go to the opposite. Once we do that, we'll see that everything will align correctly. And there you go. Thanks for watching today's how-to video.